points experience, you can set notifications to trigger in response to specific predefined conditions. To set this up, let's navigate to the top right hand corner to the application menu and select preferences. Here a dialog box appears. We can start off by creating rules. By clicking on new rule, we have the ability to choose a quote or a news notification. Let's start off with a quote. By entering a security that you would like, a relevant rule. Here we can set the activity. For example, BHP's last price is greater than the value of 20. Let's save this rule. Instantly, this quote alert has been triggered and a notification appears. By looking at the quote notification rules, you can see other rules that have been previously set. If you ever want to delete an existing rule, go to the inline action menu item. By selecting on this, you can either edit the rule or delete it. Moving on to news notification rules, let's set a few up. By clicking on new rule, we can set the parameters. You can set a trigger based on the security code or a headline. By selecting a security code, we can type in ASX for BHP and save. Alternatively, you can create a new rule whenever there is a headline that contains BHP, for example. We have a plus symbol in order for you to add further parameters and or all function, but let's keep it simple. As you can see, there are a list of predefined rules for news headlines or security codes. Again, should you wish to delete or edit it, just click the inline action menu and delete. Within the notification settings, we have the ability to manipulate some of our preferences. We can activate the trading alert or deactivate it if we're only viewing market data. For delivery methods, like how you saw earlier, we can deliver the relevant trigger response within viewpoint, which was emblematic of the little pop-up that appeared in the right hand corner. Alternatively, we can have it as browser alerts. This is a good function because you don't necessarily have to be within the viewpoint window to receive a browser alert that will appear on the top right hand corner and pop up. You can select the relevant sound that you prefer, which will appear and trigger each time a relevant notification has been breached. Or alternatively, you can have an email where a notification will be emailed to the relevant email address that you have provided in this field. In the default reactivation option list, you can select how frequently you want the notification to reactivate. For example, immediately, the next hour, or never. Please note that this only applies to quote and news alerts because there is an assumption that trade alerts will have an immediate reactivation after it's been breached. Once you're happy with these settings, press save. Music